Um, sometimes I write very, very personal pieces. This one included. Um, it's entitled Bittersweet. I wrote it about a few months ago. It's a long one. Bear with me, please. So, here we go. Bittersweet. <laughs> Loving him is so bittersweet. Sometimes I love to hate him, and other times I hate to love him. Secretly hating the air he breathes when I know very well I breathe that air too. So I swallow my pride with my heart over my mind, weakening my resolve to think of something smarter to do. And I pray to God for love, so I, just, I guess I'll just stick in there for one more day. At least that's what I keep telling myself, because God answers prayers in mysterious ways. So maybe he really did send me this man who shows his love with balled up fists in the backs of his hands, making outrageous demands that I've been over backwards to fulfill. I feel the urge in me to protest, but I stay silent still. One minute he's loving me tenderly, the next he's dismissing me with a flip of his wrist, thinking my compliance displays his strength when the power lies in me because I put up with this. And some days I'm ashamed to say that I truly do love him dearly. Even though sometimes I'm afraid to get close because his demeanor clearly says, that's right, you better fear me. Mm -hmm. So I close my eyes tight and pray for the strength that I lack, knowing I need to get away, but my heart won't let me leave without looking back. Mm -hmm. and, I, and looking at me now, I know I could have stopped this way before it started. I mean, Mama always told me, think with your mind and be mindful of your heart. But instead of being open-minded, I've been open-hearted. Mm -hmm. So now that i burst through the scenes of the lies that were fabricated, I've taken more than enough. I refuse to believe my life is ill-fated. But I still stick close to the first lies I was told, even though I've been warned time and time again, everything that glitters ain't gold. Mm -hmm. Believing in the dreams I was sold when I wasn't even asleep. I let him sow the seeds that I now have to reap while he creeps, cheats, and beats on me, the woman he claims he loves. And he won't be as lucky as OJ. He'll damn sure fit the glove. Mm -hmm. The first day he put his hands on me is the same day he sealed his fate. Can't take back the past. The present day is evidence that it's far too late. But then again, who am I to speak up on something that I'm guilty of, too? Young women learn from me. The hardest thing to do is usually the smartest thing for you. Mm -hmm. Sadly, truth be told, I knew from the first hit this relationship wasn't the place to be. But I was blinded by his promises of fairy tales, convinced that ever after would be lived happily. But no longer will I be bound by him. I'm the owner of the key to the shackles around my feet. Mm -hmm. And while I'm sure he believes he destroyed me, there ain't a damn thing destructive about the feeling of being free. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.